dear people, it's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your love and your support. Yes, of course, we know how it is going, but I'm so shocked and surprised. And yes, this is breaking news as PDP has gone up in flames as, uh, you know, the National Working Committee members resign. Like, seriously, oh my God, this is really getting serious. As much as APC is frustrating Nigerians, PDP is going in flames. <clears> hmm. <throat> I believe this is one of the ways God is trying to tell Nigerians that, hey, you don't need any of those parties for anything. And I believe it is high time Nigerians understand that APC, no PDP, can give them that Nigeria they really want. And if Nigerians can be wise enough to understand that these two parties should be, should rather go on exile, I think that would be the best. They shouldn't be sentimental about it, that we need to change the people. If the people in this party changes, you know, the party will become better and all of that. We don't need that. What we really need is for these two parties to go on extension and be forgotten so that other parties can emerge and we have fresh minds and fresh people. We don't need these whole acts that are here causing confusion for Nigerians and for the whole country. Well, guys, let us see some of the AP... Uh, PDP members, that's the People's Democratic members that resigned, as, as in not just members, National Working Committee members, so you can see how serious this is getting. Where are they going? Are they going to the APC or they are just staying behind? Well, we'll find out in this report. But please ensure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, like and also share this video. And don't forget, this is Saffron Media. More details, guys. All right, my dear people, without further ado, right here it says the party's national organizer, Secretary Colonel Austin Akubundu, retired, confirmed this on Tuesday. It was gathered those who resigned included the Deputy National Financial Secretary, Deputy Legal Advisor, Deputy National Auditor, Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Deputy Women Leader, and Deputy Organizing Secretary. It was confirmed that the seventh officer at the time, that the seventh officer was actually not confirmed at the time of those reports. They promised to remain loyal. You know, these people promised to be to, to remain loyal to the PDP, but said they will not be able to work with the current National Working Committee. Well, what is going on in the People's Democratic Party is, you know, uh, not far-fetched because really they are just being greedy. Uh, and, you know, they've left, um, you know, office. Uh, that is uh, been the ruling party for almost six years now. And, uh, you know, some people are already feeling out of place. And secondly, some are already feeling like not enough money is coming in because most of the states are now covered by the All Progressive Congress. And even those who were PDP members or governors are already moving to the All Progressive Congress. So some of them are already feeling like they are losing credibility. Imagine these guys now saying that, you know, they are 100% still loyal to the party, but the only thing is they are no longer part of the uh, National Working Committee. Like for what reason? Whatever reason that made you drop leadership, in no time you're going to dump the party and as well, you know, join all Others who are defecting to the All Progressive Congress, and I know that is the next line of action. You can imagine the very important offices that left their jobs and rather, you know, wanting to chase shadows. Well, I know there's a lot going on in the uh, People's Democratic Party, like it's happened in, um, you know, Anambra State, where uh, the uh, People's Democratic, uh, uh, the PDP. Uh, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Valentine Ozigbo, said that his fellow Anambra governorship aspirants who contested and lost the primary election of the party and moving to other political parties are not truthful about their reasons for leaving. You know, he also spoke to us, you know, on Tuesday in Oka said, such former aspirants of the PDP are not leaving the party because of lack of attention or because the primary election was manipulated, but because they have made up their minds to leave. Two out of the 15 aspirants who contested the primary election alongside Uzigbo, Mr. Godwin Maduka and Dr. Obiora Okonkwo had last week resigned from the People's Democratic Party and also announced their re-entry into the governorship race on other platforms. But Uzigbo reacting to this said, we have visited all our co 
aspirants, trying to urge them to join forces with us to help PDP win the state. We first visited Senator Ekwenife, then we sent, we went to see Chris Uba, who is a member of the BOT. We visited him because he had said that if an aspirant from the South the senatorial zone emerges, he will abandon his court cases. We met him. We met all other aspirants. I did this fence mending because the problem of the party has always been anti-party activities by its members arising from rancor during the primary election. We needed to catch that. That was why I embarked on the visit. If not, here anyone is leaving PDP, it is not lack of attention. PDP intervened. Some governors intervened, but they have made up their minds to leave. It is unfair. But I'm certain that a bigger number of people are still with me. If two people leave, you will agree with me that we have lost nothing, he said. So obviously, like what I said, there's more to this. But also speaking also on the rumors that some godfathers in the state had fostered a deputy governorship candidate on him, the immediate past chief executive officer of Transcop, PLC noted that he was from the very day he joined he joined the race, being his own man. From the outset, I knew what I wanted. I told everyone plainly that I would choose a woman as my running mate and that she would be an Anglican. I did just that. I knew that if I make you or you pointing at journalists, you will want to control my actions. So I decided to finance my own election. That is not to say that I will not listen when elders of the party speak to me, you know. So obviously, there's a lot going on in the People's Democratic Party. So you can imagine what is going on in, um, in a number of states now. And now the National Working Committee, a whole lot and if you check other states, it is the same issues that they are going through. A lot of things are happening already in the People's Democratic Party. So like I said earlier when I started this video, I said this is something God is showing to Nigerians that, hey, you cannot go for any of this party. You know, he's just trying to mess things up for them that, you know, they'll be irritating to even vote for when it's time for election. So I guess these are some of the things that God is already showing to Nigerians to open their eyes and shine their eyes. Yes, like Nigerians will say, shine your eyes, open your eyes properly so that you can see and see what God is showing you and what is happening in the country. PDP is nothing to write home about. APC is worse. So obviously... We need a new party where we want fresh minds, fringe, uh, fresh hopes, and, you know, fresh aspirations that will push Nigerians forward. Those are the kind of people we need right now. So, my dear people, you've heard it all. Drop your comments. What do you think about what is going on in the People's Democratic Party? Drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.